Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we'll be looking at the Sicilian defense. A very nice play from black where most opponents play this. It goes black plays c5 to the counter for e4. So we'll be looking at the Sicilian defense today. So white plays e4. Black replies with c5. This is the Sicilian defense. And it's the other, and the theory goes like this: knight to f3, d6, and d4. This is the Sicilian defense main variation, which has been played in all the games of the Sicilian. So c takes d4, knight takes d4, and black plays knight to f6. So to attack this pawn, why defends it with knight to c3? And there are many variations from here. Black can continue with g6, a6, or queen to b6. All these are the main lines. So first we'll look at a6. This is the Nairov variation. a6 continues as the Nairov variation. So after this, there are many moves from for white. Bishop to g5, bishop to d3, bishop to e3. All can be played in this position. So bishop to g5 is the most commonly played. So after bishop to g5, we will most likely have something like e5, kicking that knight back, knight to b3, and then g6, preparing to fianchetto the dark squared bishop. So white continues development, bishop to d3, and g bishop to g7. So this is the Sicilian defense Nairov variation. It goes like this. This is one of the main variation played on the grandmaster level. So going back. Another variation we'll be looking is the dragon variation, which is also a very nice variation, which black plays. So going back, after e4, black c5, knight to f3, d6, and d4. We have c takes d4 and knight takes d4. Knight to f3 and knight to c3. Knight to f6 and knight to c3. Here black plays g6 going for the Sicilian defense open dragon variation. Preparing to fianchetto the dark squared bishop next. We have bishop to g5 and bishop to g7. So this is all being played a lot of times in the grandmaster games. White continues development. We have bishop to d3. Or another interesting line is to go for bishop b5 check. Black cannot block with the knight because he can he will just give up a rook for that. So if he captures with the knight, we have captures, 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 and the rook is now gone. So black blocks with the bishop. We take and then black recaptures with his knight. So going back. Bishop to d3 is a more common variation. Then we have knight to c6. We have captures and captures and white castles. Black also castles. So this is the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. So going back. We'll be looking at another variation which is the French variation. So we have e4 c5 knight to f3 and here black plays e6 so this is the french variation and after this white continues with d4 as planned so we have captures and captures and then and then black plays knight to f6 attacking this pawn we have knight c3 and queen to c7 so this is the main variation of the French. Then, then it goes like follows. After queen to c7, bishop to g5 is a common line. And then we have bishop, bishop to e7 can be played. Or knight to c6 can be played continuing development. We will look at bishop to e7. White continues development when we bishop to d3. And black castles. So this is one of the variations of the French.
then after black captures or instead of d d4 we can go to knight to c3 too so this is another variation black play white can play then we have d5 striking in the center captures and captures and we strike in the center with d4 black can push on c4 or he can capture this most for uh, most uh, common reply here is to play push c4 and block this light squared bishop from this di strong diagonal so after c4 we have bishop to e2 now preparing to castle knight to f6 castles we have bishop we have g6 now preparing to fianca to the dark squared bishop and bishop to g5 we have bishop to e g7 and then white plays queen to d2 supporting that bishop over there then black castles and this is the french variation normal going back in the sicilian defense another thing you can counter is the slav defense which goes as follows we have e4, c5, knight to f3, d6, and now d4. Sometimes black also plays here b6, with defending that pawn. This is the Slav defense. So here we continue development with knight to c3, knight to f6, and bishop to g5. We have e5 striking the center, and white capture, and white can push. To d5 prepare uh, not allowing this knight its usual development square at c6 then we have g6 preparing to fianca to this dark squared bishop bishop to d3 and bishop to g7 white castles and black two castles so this is the slav defense of the sicilian going back So that's the thing guys with the Sicilian defense. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe the video. And also I'm going to be sharing a very interesting puzzle with you all. So just a second. I'll be right back. So I'll be sharing the puzzle with you all today and I'm going to be showing it to you. So this was the previous one but still let's go find. In this position you have to find the best move for black. You have to find the best move for black in this position and win the game for black or give a slight advantage to black or the f best move for black here and please comment down below if you have found the answer and I will pin it the first one to give the right answer will be pinned so thank you very much guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so see you guys in the next